Tesla's full self-driving beta has been out for over a year now, and in that time, we've seen it make right turns, left turns, take roundabouts. That's all really cool, but those are the advertised features of full self-driving. When you load up the release notes, it tells you that the car can attempt to take you from point A to point B, but of course you have to always pay attention and be careful as the car can make mistakes. But to get from point A to point B is a lot more difficult in real life than just taking right and left turns. And to deal with those difficult situations, Tesla's full self-driving beta has a whole array of different abilities abilities it can use to help get itself from point A to point B successfully without human intervention. So the features we're going over today are very cool abilities that the car has that I've seen my car do, but aren't actually advertised as something that the car can do in any of the release notes. Now number one is folding the mirrors to get through tight spots. Yes, if the vehicle thinks that it needs to move through a spot and it doesn't have much room, it will actually fold its own mirrors and display a little message telling you it's doing so, so it can more easily fit through a tight spot without the mirror getting caught or scraped on anything. Now, if you're going through a spot that's tight enough that folding the mirror helps the car fit through better, it is a little nerve wracking, but I found the car does not apply this very often. And when it does, it does seem to be the right decision. And the car has successfully made it through those times it has used it. I did have it bug out on me one time where the mirrors kept folding and unfolding over and over again as the car thought it was going to fit between the car in front of us and a parked car, but it wasn't actually the right decision and the car ended up not trying to go through that tight space. Now, a question people often ask is how is the car going to get from point A to point B if its cameras are dirty? Well, I found that my cameras stay clean for the most part and they don't need much cleaning besides the rear camera. The car does have three cameras that it does have the ability to wash and those are the three front facing cameras and the car from time to time will spray the windshield washer fluid onto itself and wipe off its cameras without any prompt from the driver at all. The car pretty much just decides, hey, I think my cameras need to be cleaned off. It does that automatically. I've noticed it usually will happen when you come to a stop at a red light. It'll then display a little message saying that it's cleaning the cameras. Now this one seems a little more buggy in that it'll do it at times where I don't think it needs to be done. Now, of course, I can't see directly over the cameras. Maybe there is something there, but sometimes it seems that it's not needed and the car does it anyway. I've also seen people complain that their car will do this right after they've washed the car. So they know the cameras are clean and it's annoying to get the washer fluid all over their nice clean car. Not that I really care about that, but it's a funny little problem to have. What if Tesla stock is dropping? Can the Tesla respond to that? No, it can't, but you can by using my referral link for Webull. You can use my referral link below to get five free stocks that can be worth anywhere from $27 to $9,600 by depositing as little as one cent in your Webull account. Yep, only one cent. You can also get $5 of free crypto when you activate a Webull crypto account and complete one crypto trade worth at least $1. Thank you to Webull for sponsoring this video. Now, if you've been watching a lot of full self-driving beta videos, you know that the car can't handle all situations. Sometimes it requires the human to take over over in situations you wouldn't expect. Maybe it just messes up a simple turn or a lane change or something. But other times the car actually knows that it needs help in certain situations. And I was pretty surprised the first time I experienced this. I came up to a dead end on the street and my car pretty much told me, hey, I can't do this, help me out. The car will display a little message saying it can't handle the current situation and it needs you to take over. That is actually a pretty important step in autonomy. The car should be able to know situations that it can't handle if it's not a level five system and there is a steering wheel present in the car with a safety driver, it's really important for the car to be able to say, hey, I can't handle this, I need you to take over, rather than the car attempting to do something that it can't do and making a mistake or maybe getting into an accident. The most common places I've seen this are at dead ends and at really tight turnarounds or small cul-de-sacs. The car pretty much can't handle those and it'll just display a little message asking me to help it out. Now I have pushed the accelerator through one of these small cul-de-sacs before and the car pretty much displayed that message the whole time. But as we got through the cul-de-sac, the car then resumed zoom driving once it kind of turned itself around. So I did coax it with the accelerator pedal, but I didn't actually have to take over and I didn't actually have to steer, which was pretty interesting to see. Now a feature I was really impressed to see is my car seeing an oncoming car in a really tight situation where only one vehicle would fit at a time. And my Tesla actually moved over, got out of the way and just kind of paused and waited there for the other car to come through and pass. I haven't seen this situation a lot, but the times I've seen it have been really impressive with my car pulling over far back enough that the other driver can clearly tell what I'm doing or what my car is doing in this case. They can drive through the part of the road where there's only room for one car. And then once they've passed, my car turns back into the area to drive and continues on going through that thin area as the only vehicle. Interacting with cars in this way is extremely important. You need to be able to communicate and negotiate with the cars around you because you can't always just drive down the road as if nothing's going on. 
on, some circumstances require a little more cooperation between drivers to make sure everyone can get where they're going. Now, something I'm seeing a lot more lately in later builds of full self-driving beta is the car being a little more adaptable and able to fix mistakes that it makes in routing. In older versions, let's say the car would be in the straight lane when nav says to get in the left turn lane, the car used to just try to cut across traffic and turn left, even though it wasn't in the left turn lane, it was in the straight lane, and you'd have to take over there and fix the car and kind of get back on the route and then turn full self-driving back on. Well, for the past few months, I've noticed that if the car is in the wrong lane, it'll do one of two things. Number one, it will either follow the rules of whatever that lane is telling it to do, even if the nav says to go somewhere else. So sometimes my car will accidentally get in the left turn lane, and instead of trying to go straight when the nav says straight, it'll just turn left out of that left turn lane, it'll just drive until the nav reroutes, and then it will continue along the route. It handles this really gracefully, which is really nice to see, especially because the car didn't used to be able to handle it when it would get into the incorrect lane. The other way it can fix this, which I've also seen, is the car will detect that it's in the incorrect lane, it'll turn its turn signal on to let drivers around know that it needs to change lanes, and it will move back into the correct lane if there's room. If there's cars in the way, it'll wait for them to move out of the way, and when there's a gap, it'll take that gap and get into the spot it needs to be. Being able to fix mistakes like this is extremely important because sometimes you simply cannot get to the lane you need to be in. Whether that's because of construction or traffic or lane closures or other reasons, Sometimes you just have to drive past where you meant to be and then reroute and figure it out from there. Now, I have two more potential abilities that I can say I have not experienced myself, but I have heard other people mentioning these, including Elon Musk had mentioned one of them. And so let's talk about that first, going in reverse. Now, Elon Musk did say on Twitter that beta can go into reverse if, say, it peeks out into an intersection too far and decides, oh, I can't go yet, it will reverse itself. Now, I did have one time where beta stopped at a red light and the stop was a little late, so the braking was kind of hard and we moved a little farther forward than we would have if it was a normal stop. Well, directly after the stop, my car rolled back just a little bit and I was caught off guard and I thought it was just kind of, I don't know, some kind of rolling from maybe we were going uphill a little bit and the car rolled back before applying the brakes, something like that. But then it made me think maybe my car was reversing because it moved too far forward for that red light and there was a pedestrian in the crosswalk, it was moving away from them, or some reason that the rollback was intentional. While I'm pretty skeptical that my car actually did reverse on purpose, Musk himself did say that the cars can do this. I still haven't seen any really solid evidence of it. There's been no message displayed saying that the car is going backwards to move out of the way or anything like that. So we'll have to keep looking for that one, uh, but it should be potentially possible. And my last one I wanna cover, which Elon Musk did mention a long time ago, is avoiding potholes. Now, my car definitely does not seem to avoid potholes. It seems to aim for them sometimes, if I'm being honest, but I have had lots of other testers tell me that it seems that their car is avoiding potholes. Now, again, I wanna stress I have not personally seen this for myself, but I don't think these people would make it up for no reason, so I did want to cover it because it is something Musk said is eventually coming to Tesla vehicles. It will eventually get that ability, and it's something I sorely need, although the roads in Michigan, I'm not sure how you would avoid some of these potholes because the whole road will be a pothole. I'm sure many of you have experienced that, but we'll have to see how the car handles it and if it can actually pull it off. So I know a lot of you out there now are driving beta on your own personal cars. What cool thing has your beta car done that you were surprised by? For me, the biggest things were number one, washing the windshield. I thought that was really cool. The car kind of knew the cameras needed to be cleaned off. And I was also quite surprised when it asked me for help <laughs> when it got in a situation it couldn't handle. It's just so funny that you're driving this robot or this robot is driving you and it just, you know, hey, I need some help over here. <laughs> it's just so funny to me. So these are some of the hidden features of beta. I hope you enjoyed this one. I will talk to you down in the comments and you will see me in the next video. So Autopilot and I are happily driving along 